How to pray for the sick. Determine the condition of the sick. After you determine the condition, you will normally pray the healing prayer. But sometimes, do not be surprised if the Lord directs you not to pray or to delay prayer. For example, through an interview you may discover the person does not want healing because they will lose a disability pension. This actually happened in one healing service. The Lord may also direct you to delay the prayer for physical healing until further instruction is given or the person deals with a sin problem. When you do pray, pray a prayer of faith which focuses on the specific problem. Remember that you do not have to persuade God to heal by the length or loudness of your prayer. Just as salvation is already available, the same is true of healing. Just as salvation is based on the condition of faith, so is healing. God wants to heal, just as he wants to save. Although the power of God is sometimes present in a special way for healing, Luke 5 verse 17, you can still pray for healing without a special anointing, because Jesus commanded you to do it just as he told you to spread the gospel. Can I have your attention for a few seconds? Before we delve deep into this video, please help us spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash You will instantly gain access to over 180 Christian videos and over 400 videos about billionaire biographies and over 140 personal development videos and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies. If you are watching this video and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior I'll help you do that right now because it is for this very purpose that we create these videos. Giving your life to the Lord is the best decision you can ever make in your entire life on earth. I invite you to make Jesus your Lord today. In Romans 10 verse 9 the Bible says that, If thou confess with thy mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Please, pray this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all of my heart that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died on the cross, and that on the third day God raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus is the Lord of my life from this day onward. I'm now born again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well done for making this prayer. You are now born again. Attend a Bible-based church and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon to keep learning the truth of God's word as you become an excellent Christian every day. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash link is also in the description. Let's continue with our today's topic. The key to answer prayer is praying according to God's will. Do not pray if it is God's will. Jesus never prayed heal if it is your will. Pray a positive prayer for God's will to be done as it is in heaven or according to thy will. This still acknowledges the sovereignty of God. When possible, use other believers to minister with you. There is multiplication of spiritual power when more people are praying. See Matthew 18 verse 19. Body ministry also discourages individuals who experience success in healing gifts and those who receive healing from giving glory to self or man. Each member of the body of Christ has at least one spiritual gift. The most effective ministry is when each one should use whatever gift he has received to serve others, faithfully administering God's grace in its various forms. 1 Peter 4 verse 10, New International Version. Your healing prayer may be one of petition, Mark 7 verse 32 to 35. Command, Luke 4 verse 38 to 39. Mark 7 verse 32 to 35, John 5 verse 8, Acts 3 verse 6, Acts 9 verse 40. Intercession, Exodus 32. Rebuke and casting out, Mark 9 verse 25. Your prayer may also involve instructions to do specific acts, as the Lord directs, see John 9 verse 1 to 7. Note, never tell people to stop taking medication. Let God lead them in this area. Always pray in the name of Jesus. Also, remember that it is not lack of faith to pray more than once. Review what Jesus taught about persevering prayer. Praise God for the answer. Follow prayer with praise to God for healing. Remember that in the case of the ten lepers whom Jesus ministered to, all were healed, but only the one who returned to praise was made whole. Praise God by faith and not by sight. You have done what God's word said to do. Believe he has done what he said he would do. Thank him for it. Jesus thanked God for hearing his prayer before Lazarus ever came out from the tomb. Study these examples of Jesus interviewing the sick prior to ministering healing. Mark 5 verse 1 to 20 verse Jesus questions the demonized man. Mark 8 verse 22 to 26 verse questioning of the blind man. Mark 9 verse 14 to 27 verse interview about the boy with an evil spirit. Mark 10 verse 46 to 52 verse questioning blind Bartimaeus. Jesus trained his followers in the ministry of healing. Matthew 10 verse 18. Here is how to develop a team of workers to minister healing with you. Select a team of workers. Members should be teachable, have the desire to minister, have the ability to take direction, be people of love and compassion, and have good spiritual and emotional lives. Use the lessons in this manual and God's word to instruct and build faith. Spend time fasting and praying together. Determine who will do what in the healing service, so team members can minister in harmony one with another. One person should coordinate the service in order to prevent confusion. 
Do you see members to help equip others for the healing ministry? Do not hold healing services as much as equipping services, where others can learn how to use the power God has made available to all of the body of Christ. Here are some suggestions on how to introduce a healing ministry in your church. Educate, preach messages on healing. Teach healing in the Sunday school and Bible studies. Invite outside speakers to come and minister on the subject. Illustrate, have people who have been healed share testimonies. Include those who have experienced both visible and invisible healings, gradual and instantaneous, healing of serious and common disorders. Penetrate, integrate the healing ministry into every area of church life. Send healing ministry teams to hospitals and homes. Involve elders and leaders in the healing ministry first, and then use them to involve the entire congregation. Demonstrate. Provide opportunity for God's power to be demonstrated. Plan and conduct healing and deliverance services. How to practice being confident. The more you sweat in practice, the less you bleed in battle. The good news is that, even if you don't have confidence, you can learn to find it. There's an old joke about a tourist asking someone on the streets of New York, how to get to Carnegie Hall. The stranger responded, practice, young man, practice. Start practicing and polishing your act, whatever it may be. When you know you're great at what you do, your confidence is far less likely to be shaken. Practice, even if you're doing the same thing over and over, doesn't have to be boring. Yes, musicians play scales for hours and athletes run endless drills, but at the same time they are also mentally on stage, or at a meet visualizing their success. Using practice in this manner, not only keeps them in shape, to do what they do, but it also helps them to get better. As a writer, I believe, and some will disagree, that there are very few practice exercises to do other than writing, but some people like to read to warm up, and others use outlines or notes to help them get started. All of these preparations are good practice for creating a piece or a performance you will feel good about. A famous musician once said that, if he didn't practice for one day he would notice a difference. If he didn't practice for two days his teacher would notice, and if he didn't practice for three days the audience would notice. And so he sits at the keyboard every day and keeps his art honed, and his confidence high. The trick is to make practicing something you enjoy doing every day. Sometimes you have to do a little mental gymnastics to make that thought a reality. If you only like practicing because it makes you better at what you do, that's fine because that little piece of positive attitude will help you get to the next level and continue to refine your skill set. But it will make your practice sessions much easier if you feel some joy in the process. We all know the truth that practice makes perfect. What some fail to realize is that practice also boosts your self-confidence. Can you please do us a favor? If you have been blessed by this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and invite at least 200 plus souls, it could be family and friends, to visit Discofeth YouTube channel, so that they may hear the gospel of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and be born again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon, our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash Link is also in the description. Thank you and God bless you.